Hi, I'm Mr. O, here with another oh, wow. moment at the Children's Museum of Houston. I'm up here on our top spot balcony today to answer the question, does gravity affect things differently? In other words, do heavier objects fall faster than lighter objects because of gravity? Well, to answer that question, we first need to better understand gravity. Gravity is the force of attraction between all objects in the universe. Legend has it Sir Isaac Newton, while watching apples fall from a tree, came up with his law of universal gravitation, which is this. Uh -huh. Now, this looks pretty complicated, uh -huh. but what it's basically saying is that gravity is a very, very, very weak force. Ah. And you have to have a whole lot of matter in order to have any sort of real gravitational effect. Like, say, the size of a small moon or larger. Did you know that? Warning. 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 Science is fun. You can learn a lot doing science, but it can be messy and occasionally a little dangerous. So always make sure you have a responsible adult working with you and never ever throw anything off of balconies. We're carefully controlling the situation here to make sure everyone is safe. Back in the mid 300s BC, Greek philosopher Aristotle, Hello. merely through observation, claimed that heavier objects fall faster than lighter objects as demonstrated here. So Aristotle's idea about gravity held till about the 1630s, which is when Italian physicist Galileo Galilei hey! came up with a series of experiments that showed that it's not differences in gravity All the objects fall at the same rate affecting the objects, but rather air resistance. Hey! Here's an easy test. Place the piece of paper on top of the book. Now, if Aristotle was correct, then the book should fall faster than the paper, leaving the paper to float gently down. But if Galileo is correct, then they should fall together. Let's test it. So Galileo is hey. correct. If two objects drop at the exact same time, the only reason they would hit at different times is due to air resistance. Now, in case you think that we were pulling some trick photography or using some glue or something, watch this. If you crumple up the piece of paper, then drop them at the same time, the paper is no longer as affected by air resistance. Need more proof? Well, Galileo ran many tests with metal balls of different masses. We're gonna try a few objects of our own. Golf ball versus baseball. Drop. Baseball versus kickball. Drop. Kickball versus small shoe. Ready. Drop. Small shoe versus large shoe. Ready. Drop. Fall at the same rate. According to legend, Galileo tested his theories by dropping a large and a small ball off the Leaning Tower of Pisa. Now our budget won't cover a trip for me to Italy, and I don't think the Italian government will let me drop anything off the tower, but I got the next best thing. I'm going to drop this little water balloon and this big water balloon off of our tot spot balcony, and we'll see which one hits first. Remember, never, never, never ever throw anything off of balconies. We're carefully controlling the situation here to make sure everyone is safe. So we're a little over 20 feet up in the air. We have two different balloons and our two research assistants are each going to watch a different balloon. When their balloon hits, they're going to raise their hand so that we know that their balloon has made contact. Here we go. Three, two, one. Addendum. Addendum. 
So what have we learned today? Well, we have a better understanding of the force of gravity, and we understand that gravity affects all things regardless of their weight. So the only reason things fall at different rates is because of air resistance. We hope you've had a wonderful time with our down-to-earth lesson, and you've been inspired to go out and have an oh wow moment of your own. And make sure not to drop heavy books on your little toe. Ow.